Hey guys, it's Civil. Welcome back to Ratchet and Clank 2016. We are finally in deeper, deeper than we've ever imagined to the Deplanetizer. And we're slowly, you know, taking apart Drek's plan to destroy everything. Even though it's no longer Drek's plan, it's actually Dr. Nefarious' plan we've found out. He's actually calling all the shots, so that's, uh, that's not good. That's not good in the slightest. Um, we are gonna try to clear this very, very big room while people are trying to shoot us from very far away. So let's, see, let's shoot them from very, very far away. Boom! Boom! Oh, I'm getting hit. But it's okay, everyone's dancing, everyone's having a good time. You know, that's all that counts. I say it time and time again, you know, music moves people. It's great. Um... Alright, we're actually... Right near- oh, oh, okay, everyone's having- a, everyone's having a weird time now. Sorry guys, I turned off the tunes. Isn't that just the worst? When you're at a party, just someone turns off the tunes. It's a party sin. It's a party sin, you don't do that. And wow, there's a lot of guys here. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, okay, yeah, we need to come over here. Whoa, hi! You guys were just kind of waiting here. Almost like you just had nothing better to do. I can- I can understand that. I respect that. Well, I mean, respect's a weird word. You know. I- it's weird, I find myself often like that. I- I- uh, It's something I struggle with a lot, is just having so much time and to do stuff, because it's just- I almost like just having structure, because structure just gives- I don't know, just gives so much. You know, it's- it's good to have structure, I feel. I... In certain situations, obviously. I think having the freedom of choice is a wonderful, wonderful thing. Like, a just crazy good thing. But, um... You know, the second that... I'm just gonna shoot this guy. The second that you go from very structured days to, like... You know, you, you just do whatever you want. It's, it's... I don't like that. I don't like that in one bit because it just... It makes everything confusing. And just, it just makes things difficult, because I, I have so much I want to do, and just so much time to do it, I just, you know, it's, it's hard to find the right time. Oh. Well, that clearly was not the right time to jump off, because I, I made a fool of myself. Should probably use the bridge that they gave me. You know, that would, that would probably be a good idea, but... Knowing me, I don't do good ideas. That is for sure. Always, always with the bad ideas. That is- Whoa, what the fronk is happening? Duh, oh, shooting everything. Duh, oh, fragging, frogging shit. Okay. I just want to take out the big guy. There you go. Now I'm, now I'm less worried. I am less worried and I can just kind of did it daddle over here. Get out the buzz blades. Yeah. Mr. Zircon, you literally last no seconds. You just you're just here and then you're not. Like that it's just really bad how long you actually last. Um up here. Oh, excuse me. What guys, come on. You wanted a party. Party ratchet's here. Party ratchet's in the clear! This is the final the rhino card! It's a final Rhino card. Look at that, Rhino 7. It looks really weird. But we got all the Rhino cards! Isn't that awesome? Woo, look at that. Look at that. Ooh, shiny. Got all the Rhino cards. Sweet, now we can bring it to the dealer. And he'll deal us some good cards. Uh, but first we have to find a way to actually get there. I don't think you can just jump to your ship whenever you want. Um, but I do, I do think there is a, uh, a thing, a thing, a teleporter close by that does this for- Guy, come on. Alright, fronk, fronk off. Fronk off, please. Um, alright, well, I'm just gonna use this and just up close snipe you. Douche. Alright, uh, speaking of teleporter that brings you to the ship, here's a teleporter that brings us to the ship. So, instead of going on to the final boss, I might add. By the way, we're at the end of the game. Pretty crazy, right? 
Um, instead, we're gonna go to Rilgar. Hopefully that. Oh, I thought that was the hangar. I thought I thought we were about to smash through that glass. I was a little concerned. For for our car, for our car plane spaceship. Those are many different things, and I got them all wrong. That's okay. We're gonna get a sweet weapon. I I'm just gonna say up straight up, straight up right here. Um, I've gotten the Rhino in every other game, except for this game. I I don't remember. I think I just went on and beat the boss, and then I just I just never went back. Um, I think we want to take this taxi. Yeah, to the racing track. Wait, no, wait. I think so, cause it's, well, it's connected anyways, so it doesn't really matter. Actually, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Oh, I guess in case we didn't unlock the force field, cause this is the force field. So, okay, well, whatever. But that's weird that they have two of them. Weird. Anyways, let's get the Rhino. Hi, dude. Hey, you got all the hollow cards. Good Just like I said, I would. Sport. The Rhino's yours. Hang on while I grab my toolkit. Now, I just have to attach the induction rod, refocus the emitters, and blammo! Blammo. Damn, dude. telling anyone you have this. Happy hunting. Whoa, this thing is intense. So, I'm I'm not super familiar with this one. I kind of want to fight some enemies. Um, if we go back to the start, I feel like there will be some in this little house over here. Or, not really a house. I mean, it could be c categorized as a house, but it doesn't really look like a house, you know. Um, let's see. Maybe there are some enemies. Let's hope so. Test out the rhino. Uh, no. There is no one. That is kind of disappointing. Um, alright, well let's just- Oh no! Oh jeez. <laughs> let's just continue on then. Um, I'm gonna say right here that... I'm probably not gonna use the rhino on the final boss because it's just... It's so... Cheap. <laughs> Honestly, it's, it's so anticlimactic to like fight our way through this game just to have it easy. Um, I know the game gives it to you, and I know it, you put a lot of hard work into it, but at the same time, I kind of just, I don't want to beat the boss in like two seconds. I'd rather show him off and, you know, actually have a challenge. Because with the Rhino, there there is no challenge. It's you, you hit the button, it homes, it does all the jazz. Um, like, it, it's in a crazy powerful gun. Um, so let's go back to the core. And look, ready? Ready, I'm gonna show it off right here. You just, you just fire. You just fire and it does so much damage, like... Like an insane amount of damage. And it has a thousand little rockets. Like, just... Just crazy amounts of, like, rockets and... Like, look, I'm just, I'm barely gonna hit these guys and they've already, they're already dead. It's basically a one-hit kill. So, we're gonna... Sadly, we're gonna sandbag it. Uh, also, I want to mention that there is an empty slot here. We do have all the weapons, but there's a secret weapon that only... The Bouncer. You only get it if you pre-order the game, and if you don't, you, I guess you just don't get it, because I don't think there's any other way of actually getting it. Which is kind of silly when you think about it. But hey, you know, that's... It's my fault for not getting it on, 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 on like, launch and stuff, so, you know. Oops, so sorry I can't show that off, but it's um, it's basically just like mini clusters. You just shoot a bomb, explodes into a bunch of tiny little bombs, and they just kind of hop around and hit things and then explode. So, it's pretty cool, but, you know, it's whatevers. Um, and yes, the rhino itself has a skill tree, which actually in the sh is in the shape of like a, a skull and crossbones, which is kind of funny. Um, okay, cool. <laughs> Wait, what did, that, what did that say? Do you hate it when you can't shoot anymore? Get more ammo! <laughs> Increase collateral damage! I- wow, those are, those are two great things, but actually, I want to complete this because I knew... Um... Wow, okay, cool. Uh, I didn't complete that, but now... Uh, tough decision. What do I want to upgrade? Um... Okay, Peacemaker, Zircon... Oh, uh, Zircon's not fully leveled though. Okay, this is though. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna get this real quick. Okay, 
Just because I have a feeling we're going to be using a lot of this. Hold on, four. Um, is there a good glove of doom? It's sort of. Um, a glove of doom won't be helpful here. Sadly. Uh, um, hmm. Hmms and haws. I think I should, yeah, I think I should go for the peacemaker. Just makes sense. I feel like we're going to use it. So there we go. Sweet. Wow. It's going to be, <laughs> that thing is going to be killer now. Um, so yeah, with final preparations done, we got the rhino, which is a crazy kick-ass weapon. I mean, look at this. It's almost, look how, it's almost level two. Like, this is, a, this is an insane gun. Highly, highly recommend getting all the pieces and I'm, I was really happy to show it off to everyone. Yeah, look at this. It's already level, it's, it's like almost level two already, just by like killing these guys. Really? Really? I'm, I'm a little surprised. I'm surprised I didn't level up. Um, maybe killing this guy. Yeah, there we go. Like it just, it's just a crazy good weapon. Like, oh my gosh. Just too, it's too intense. But anyways, now that we have all of all the weapons, and we're now finally prepared to take on Nefarious. Let's go and do exactly that next time in the finale of Ratchet and Clank 2016. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, give it a like and a comment. Always helps, and I always like talking to you guys. But if you don't want to talk here, talk to me on Twitter. Link in the description, Civil Knight. It's basically anywhere you'll find me, anywhere. Um, but I hope you guys are having a great day. We'll see you guys next time. Stay classy. Peace.